Hello and welcome to the broadcast. It is Wednesday, December 19th. It has been far too long since we had a gaming stream, but I'm here. It is time. Um, some of you may recall that I was uh, I was playing a game called uh, uh, Tales of Symphonia. Uh, some of you may also recall that I had some frustrations with that game. Those of you who uh, are very observant may have noticed that I accidentally didn't save at the end of our last stream of that game. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're taking a step back from Tales uh, of Symphonia probably forever. Um, but we are back today to play a different JRPG, a more modern take on the classic genre. You're going to be playing I Am Setsuna which, uh, that's the music we were listening to, and the intro there, I, you know, between the music and the art, uh, alone, I am very excited for this game. Uh, but I know very little about it, as before, I like going into these things sort of with, uh, with, with fresh eyes, so to speak, so that, um, you know, I can share with you my initial observations and, and the, the process of, sort of building my opinion of the game uh, in a natural way instead of a more forced uh, way or a super front-loaded way. So, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop the game open and we're gonna, we're gonna get this going. Uh, I have experienced as much of the game as was needed to set it up in OBS and that's it. So, uh, We'll we'll see how this goes. All right, um, pop over to here. Tokyo RPG Factory. Uh, right now, I have the cursor showing. I don't know how much this game uses the cursor, though, so I might turn that off later. We'll see. Um, so right away, let's talk about what we're seeing in this in this main menu here. Uh, We've got snow, right? That's we've got snow falling. We have the title. We have just this press any key, um, and we have this soft piano music playing in the background. Uh, this, I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be something involving winter. That that seems likely. The snow is probably not a random choice, uh, especially given how like I don't want to say bare bones, but bare bones. This is so. If we press spacebar, boop, load game, delete saved game. This is it. This is all the menu we get. We get new game. We get n load game. We get delete save data. That's it. So this reminds me a lot of old Final Fantasy games, like Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VII, where you just like load into the game. You get a screen, it tells you to play the game, and, and that's that's it. There's no, like, settings menu, which, like, there's an accessibility issue with not having the options menu at the beginning, but we'll see if they uh, give us choices early enough on that that isn't a problem. Um, but, you know, contrast that to Tales of Symphonia, which is our last game that we were playing, and how that menu immediately was like, here's the world, right? Like, here's an impression of what this world is like. We've got this feather, we've got this pastoral, like, natural setting. This is just like, here is a tone and a statement, right? Final Fantasy, all the Final Fantasy games are just like, Final Fantasy and then a number. So those games are very much saying with their, their, uh, splash menus, just... You're playing a thing, here's zero context, you're gonna get the context when you play the game. This is doing a very similar thing where it's giving us very little context so that our experience will be defined not necessarily by this menu, um, but by the very first moments of the gameplay. Uh, however, the snow implies winter. Winter has, I mean, different cultural connotations depending on where you are. Um, but the connotations I'm most familiar with are sort of a sense of, like, the end of things, right? It's the end of the year, 
uh, it's it's a time before renewal. Um, and then this title, I am Setsuna, right? It's a statement. It's not Final Fantasy, which says very little, right? It says it's fantasy and there's an end. That's it. It's saying this game is about a character. It is about their, presumably their viewpoint, um, the cover illustration. Which cover illustration? Because there's the one that's used, that I used in my, um, in my Twitter announcements. Also, hi Niklas. Uh, there's the one I used in my Twitter announcements that's also on the, uh, the soundtrack. Um, but then there's also the splash image that they use on Steam that's like the tree. I mean, both of them are beautiful. Um, but yeah, this, this tells us that it is about this character, presumably Setsuna, um, and their story, specifically. Uh, the one with the tree, yeah, yeah, that, that illustration is, is gorgeous. Um, well, that is a poster and I've seen nothing else from the game. Yeah, pretty much that's, that's all I needed to be interested in it was that image and, like, some people whose opinions I trust saying that it was a good game. Uh, but this is also, this is handwritten, and it has a period at the end, right? And, like, <laughs> that may seem like not a big deal, but that adds a, another note of finality to it, right? Like, that's the whole, sa the whole statement. The whole statement is, I am Setsuna. Um, but it in a way, you know, making it a sentence instead of just a, a logo type and rendering it in this handwritten style makes it feel more personal, right? It's, it's almost as if we're reading the start of a diary um, or something in a letter. It, it has a deeply personal um, presentation. So, I am expecting, you know, both from the tone of the music, the sense of finality in the logo design, and the, the use of winter, and the fact that it's a square game, I'm expecting this to punch us in the feels at some point, so. Um, but I will say, before we hit new game and start playing, I will say that because I'm going into this blind, I know very little about the game, and I cannot give you uh, warnings about the content of the game. So if you are concerned that something might come up that will be um, uh, unpleasant or triggering for you, uh, feel free to step away at any time. Um, no one has an obligation to be here but me. <laughs> um, and it, if you're not concerned about spoilers, go ahead and go spoil, your, spoil yourself if, if you're okay with that to make sure that you'll be comfortable with the game. Um, just so long as you don't share those spoilers in chat, you're good. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's all I want to say before we hop in, so let's hop in. You want to turn on in-game voices? Yes, please. This isn't voiced, so I'll say it. Hmm. It seems you live up to the rumors. A natural mercenary. Or... Okay, let's make him older. Perhaps my own skills as a mercenary simply grow weak. I am Hapspur. I will be working with you on this mission. What is your name? You get to name people? Do you want to change Endir's name? I mean, Endir's a pretty fucking sick name. Um, and there's a chance... There's a chance that people will say it later if we leave it default, so I'm gonna leave it default. Oh, wait. Okay, the mouse is useless here. 
So I might actually, once we get to an options menu, I might switch us back to controller. Do you want to use this name? Yes. Nice to be working with you, Endir. Our mission is to recover a young girl who has been kidnapped by monsters. Your job will be to exterminate any monsters we encounter along the way. Once we are done, I shall return the girl to our client. Of course. If she is still alive, that is. I like that we've got these cat helmets. Let us begin right away. Are you ready to go? Ooh. Dude, look at our fucking helmet. Holy shit. Okay, this is what the mouse is for. Dude, we've got the cat ears, but also we've got these fucking hands reaching out over our, our faces. That's so cool! We are the coolest looking JRPG character I have ever seen. Holy cow. You need to ask. <laughs> You're a feisty one, eh, and dear? Of course, I won't be getting involved in the combat, except in an advisory capacity. This sword is totally just for show. It'll be a good chance for me to see your ability. Come on, let's go. Alright. Ooh. Tromp, 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 tromp. I'll leave the monsters to you, Endear. Let's see what you've got. This is a penguin. It seems we have already entered their territory. Time to get to work, Endear. Ready to go? Of course. Good! I knew I could count on you! A puny foe, but you can never be too careful. Holy shit, scary teeth! If you approach without it noticing, you should be able to strike first. I think, I think it has noticed. You move within a certain distance of monsters, battle will begin. If you approach monsters from the front, they will enter guard mode. However, if you approach them from behind, their guard will be down. Yep. You will start the battle with full ATB and SP gauges, allowing you to make a preemptive attack. The ATB and SP gauges are both essential to combat, and will be explained later on. I like this! Right here. This is this is the thing I try to do when I'm teaching... Uh, oh, sorry. My camera's... my face is in the way. Um, this is the thing I try to do when I'm explaining role-playing games to people for the first time. Um, not like, this is how you play any role-playing game ever, but like when I'm walking someone through Dungeons & Dragons or something like that. Um, I'll mention, like, this is important for a thing. That thing, we'll, we'll get to that when it's actually vital. I just want to start making that connection. This is a smart move from them because it, it means we're already thinking about these. We're prepared to hear about them. But they're letting us know that we can focus on this information first. In combat, tactics are everything. Stay calm and focused at all times. Okay, here we go. Once battle begins, your character's ATB, active time battle. Okay. Gauges, which are displayed on the bottom of the screen, will start to fill up. Once one of your character's gauges is full, his or her, just use there command list will be displayed. Select a command and a target, and the character will then perform that action. When more than one character has full ATB gauge, uh, you can press the left and right directional buttons, or move the left stick and uh, left and right to switch between characters. Although they aren't displayed on the screen, monsters also have ATB gauges and will perform actions once they are full. Okay. Of course. I'm sure you are already well aware of this. Yeah, totally. Here it comes! Uh, attack Tengi. Yeah. Okay, so the, the VO is in Japanese, which is fine. How's the volume? It seems a little loud to me. Yes. 
Awesome. We are very good. Majestic Crest. You obviously know what you're doing. We should be safe for now. Let us head on. Okay, let's see. Do we get a pause menu? No, I don't want to exit. I want options. Okay, I guess we only get options when we start the game up. Yeah, a bit loud. Okay. I'm going to adjust it in OBS then, because it doesn't look like we get actual volume controls in the game. So, drop it to here. And drop it in my headset too. Alright. There are more of them than before. Use a tech to take them all out at once. You have Spritnite stones on you, I presume. Spritnite. Okay. Spritnite. What? You mean to say you have never used Spritnite? What astonishing natural talent you must possess. <laughs> you received Cyclone from Hapsburg. Equipping Sprit Knight allows you to use Tex. Try that stone out. Sprit Knight are stones that are imbued with magical energy. Their materia. Equipping them allows your characters to obtain a wide range of powers. There are two types of Sprit Knight. Command Sprit Knight allow your characters to use different Tex during battle. <coughs> and from the Tex menu, while Support Sprit Knight grants effects that occur automatically during battle. Their materia. Hey, Lindy! How are you? Sprint Knight can be equipped from the menu. This is done by inserting them into um, into the slots contained in talismans. At first, your characters will only have one slot, but they will gain more as their levels increase and by equipping different talismans. There are three types of slots, one for command Sprint Knight, one's for support Sprint Knight, and one's that can be used to equip either. Doing spiffy? I'm I'm doing pretty well myself. I'm I'm pretty stoked on this game so far. Like we're still very much in the uh, tutorial, but I'm I'm liking what I'm experiencing so far. Just having it in your possession is not enough. You must not forget to equip it. All right, uh, Sprit Knight, Cyclone. Okay, enables use of Cyclone, offers a wide attack range and can also knock back enemies. Has his physical damage, null, to all enemies near the user. Wait, I can change the name of the Sprit Knight? That's neato. I'm into that. Uh, what's, what's our back button? <laughs> uh, don't love, ki loves killing Pingu. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, well, kind of. Uh, it, uh, mm, mm, um, uh, I'm just gonna press some buttons on the keyboard. Oh. Oh, no. H is removed. Uh, J is at the name. K. K is back? Why? Square Enix, why? <laughs> I... Ah, I can use the controller now. Okay, okay. Um, config. Okay, alrighty. This needs to be confirm. Needs to be no. Um. Uh. Nope. Okay. Open main menu. I want this. What? Okay, I want this button to be that. I want this to be... <clears throat> I mean, part of the problem is I'm on a PlayStation controller and not a uh, uh, Xbox controller. Let me see if I can... <sighs> Your patience is appreciated. Let me open the thing that convinces it it's an Xbox controller. It is Nightmare Pengu. That's true. 
Uh, okay. Riveting gameplay. Okay. Why is this... What? Okay. Okay, I think we're good now. I think. That's right button, that's left button. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we appear to be good. Be careful! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Tech. Cyclone! Boom! Get wrecked! Oh my. Oh my. Endier sounds like a total badass. Yes. Get toasted. Attack up? That's not good. Yes. Oh, nice! Exact kill? Oh wow. Sturdy sheet metal. Where were they keeping that? Gotta love JRPGs. Nice job! Come, let us hurry on. That looks like a save point. A glowing ring of light. You can sense a faint magical energy emanating from inside it. What is the matter? Ah. Uh. Nothing. Sense the presence of monsters further inside the woods, did you? All the more reason for us to hurry on. Save points. Save points are rings of light found in area maps that allow you to record your current progress in the game. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, yep. If you step inside, press the thing. You'll be asked whether you want to save. Save points are only found at certain points. Mm-hmm. However, when on the world map, which you will reach later on in the game, again, telling us um, what to expect in the future, uh, you will be able to save your progress at any time from the main menu. Thank God. Please note that this game does not save automatically. Making sure to save regularly will be essential to your journey's success. Okay. Yes, I would like to save. the tracks in the snow very simple but it works yeah yeah it is it's quite nice phew she's still breathing although not for long at this rate oh boy oh you're a big boy <laughs> another one and much more powerful this time it doesn't look like we'll be getting out of here alive without defeating it no matter how powerful Every foe has its moments of weakness. You must seize such moments to strike. When a character's ATB gauge is full, but you haven't yet selected a command, the round special power gauge to the right will start to fill up. It will also be filled when your character perform actions or take damage. Once it is full, it will flash and one SP point will appear at the top. The gauge will then be reset and will start to fill up from the bottom once more. Maximum number of SP points is 3. When a character has at least one SP point, you can choose to trigger here, Momentum Mode to add various additional effects to attacks and techs. Just as one of your characters performs an action, a light will appear above them, and pressing the H at the moment... H key at the moment... Oh god, I don't know what that is on the controller. I think it's square. Triggering a momentum mode will add various additional effects to your attacking combos. Triggering it when attacking will add additional damage, generate critical hits, or inflict status ailments. Triggering it when using healing or supporting techs will recover additional HP. It makes your things better. 
During battle, special bonuses that affect your whole party also sometimes occur randomly. This is known as singularity. There are various different bonuses, and the one that occurs is chosen randomly. The more you use momentum mode, the greater the chance of singularity occurring. During long battles, make sure to use momentum mode as much as possible. You have one last piece of work to take care of, Andir. I'm counting on you. Okay. Ow. Okay, Cyclone wasn't super useful. Ow. Ah, crap. I forgot to use the thing. Oh, that's fine. Hey, nice. We leveled up, too. Beehive Claw. High grade honey. Delicious. Oh, my face is gone. Uh. Uh. Huh? Ah, uh, what's... We're here to save you. To save me? The, the monsters! Where are the monsters? Do not worry. He took care of them. Oh. So... I'm safe. Thank you. But why? This is our job. Your job? That's right. We are from a tribe of people who make their living as mercenaries. We came here because we were hired by your father. I see. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll be able to see everyone again. Thank goodness. Jesus, she thought she was just gonna die? Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take this, Andir. You received a shitload of money. Nice. That is your share. Now then, it's time for us to go our separate ways, Andir. I shall take this girl back to her father. Take care, Vendir. Okay, I'll just stay here, I guess. Uh, hold on, Hasper, I need to drink some water. Tell me, Endir. How long do you plan on staying in this line of work? Until the day I die. I see. Then at least make sure that day does not come too soon. I am pleased that my final job was together with a promising young man like you. Farewell. Later, dude. Uh-oh. This sounds like bad guy music. Relax yourself. I am no foe. Were I a foe, I would have already attacked you from behind, would I not? Not that I think there is any way I could possibly defeat a swordsman of your caliber, of course. I have witnessed your ability, Endear. I have a mission I would like to ask you to complete on behalf of my master. What's the mission? You are indeed everything the rumors say, Endir. Just off the coast of the mainland, there is a small isle, and on that isle there is a small village. In that village there is a small house. In that village, there is a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Endir, is to kill her. Oh, 
Are we a bad guy? Fucking open. Hey Danny, thank you for the host. Ooh! Gem Song, thank you for the sub. I don't know why the alert sounds are all playing twice, but that's just how it is. Enjoy the popcorn, gem song. I hope it serves you well. Just off the coast of the mainland, there is a small isle. And on that isle, there is a small village. In that village, there is a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, and dear, is to kill her. A skyship on water! <laughs> I know. What kind of square game is this? Boats on the water? Weird. The village of which I speak is known as the Village of Sacrifice. Every ten years, a sacrifice is chosen and sets out on a journey to the last lands to fulfill her duty. Not long ago, a young girl was once again chosen to become a sacrifice. It is she who is your target. We'll be arriving! Uh, we'll be soon, we'll soon be arriving, there we go, at Neve Island, sir. I'm just gonna leave the camera off for this, this portion. Uh, I haven't seen your face around here before, or your mask, rather. It's very unusual for travelers to come from the mainland, of course. Did I make all of these? I want to make all of these islanders Minnesotans. Don't you know? The village is just past here. All the villagers are very friendly. I'm, I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Neato. So the art style of this is is pretty interesting. Um, we've got little, like, little peg feet, little peg legs, this guy too. It's, it's very much, um, like, we've got semi, sort of, like, chibi proportions where our, our head is big, um, but, uh, I think what I'm seeing here is, especially since the arms extend so far down, uh, and the, our, our feet are very, like, pointy, is it's, it's, creating this sort of forced perspective um, that makes it look like the camera is looking from top down, even though we're actually from uh, kind of a, a a long angle, really. Kind of cross between Nufi and Minnesotan. Yeah, you know, having never been to Newfoundland or Minnesota, I'll take it. chest. Let's loot it. It's locked. Damn. Sorry, we're, uh, we're not open yet. Okay. Can I open this one? Aha! Obtained fog stone. Interesting. What is a fog stone? Creates a smoke screen allowing escape from battle. Ooh. 
Ooh. Give me all the loot. Can I search these? No, okay. Game looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm liking it. Nasal voiced worker. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just head northwest and you'll soon see it. Okay. Very few people travel to this island these days, but with all the monsters. You're very brave to come here. Let me welcome you on behalf of the village, don't you know? Let's go. What if that's their name, though? Just nasal voiced villager, that's... How do you do that without holding your nose? I scrunch my nose closed. No. It's basically the same thing, but using my face muscles. I guess. I don't know. Is that weird? Let's save, because we can. Let's bask in the freedom. Wowza. Okay, so this is our village. Neve Village. Oh. Cannot do that, but I can make my eyebrows dance. Nice. I, yeah, I have... I have eyebrows that do stuff. My face is just weird. My face does stuff. Welcome, traveler. I'm Ration. I live here in this village. Okay, good to know. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. Please stay as long as you like. Okay. Let's just walk into this house. Let's open this chest. I'm stealing your st Athenian water! Nice. Hey, have you been to the fall Falling Snow Monument? Apparently it's just through the Dazshire Woods near the village. There are monsters in the woods though, so I've never been. Hello sir, I have walked into your home. My family are close with the family of the girl who's been chosen as sacrifice, you see. So today's the day, eh? <sighs> oh great, so it's the day she's supposed to leave and I'm killing her. Wonderful. Lovely. I feel like such a good person. girl who's been chosen as sacrifice is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Snow Monument to pray to the past sacrifices. Good God. Where's the Falling Snow Monument? Just past the Deathshire Woods. We are a monster. Oh my God, look at this snow monster. Hello, old lady by the well. Stern-faced old woman. That little busybody says she's worried about me! A sacrifice should have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Oh my god, stop making her sound so kind. Gotta fix my bed, thanks for letting me lurk. You know, Kit, thank you for the cheers, and thank you. Thank you for lurking. Passionate young men. She's so kind, so beautiful. She is absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. But now that she's been chosen as sacrifice, I guess I'll just have to try and forget about her. I guess that was more dramatic than passionate, but... <laughs> I'm betting we're choosing not to kill her and shenanigans occur. Yeah, I mean, that seems... That seems like what's gonna happen here. But in the meantime... We're, we're definitely some jerk faces. Oh, there's no one here. Can I steal all their stuff? You don't understand. I'm a, I'm a JRPG protagonist. I need all of your things so that they can sit in my inventory and never be used. <laughs> Do y'all have that issue when you play JRPGs? Like, every time I played a Final Fantasy game when I was a kid, I would stockpile Phoenix down and then just never use them. You're like, what if I need this for the final boss fight or something? Fucking final boss shows up, I have 99 Phoenix down. 
After she gave birth to my dad, my grandmother left here as part of the sacrifice's guard. Young or old, man or woman, anyone can join the guard if they've got what it takes. Talk to this old dude. Hey, today is a day of celebration. The sacrifice will be departing on her pilgrimage. It reminds me of the day I saw my wife off. <sighs> Hey, kiddo. I don't mind the cold at all. One day, I'll be strong enough to protect someone, like the lady in the sacrifice's guard. Maybe we'll just get our butts kicked by the guard. That'd be cool. <laughs> the departure ceremony will soon begin. A journey of sacrifice made to appease the savage monsters. It's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. Wow, sounds like killing the sacrifice would be pretty bad. I haven't played one in a lot of years, so I don't know how it'd be now. <laughs> I think I used to blast through or sell most of my stuff. Oh my god, I I could never. The monsters have become much more ferocious lately. Even just getting through the Dadshire woods to the northeast is hard going these days. I wonder if we need to go to the Dadshire woods in the northeast. Listen to advice. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By combining these metals with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you will also be able to purchase these metals from Weppy and Tallies. Oh, so it just sort of gives me a little in-game tip. Cool. Bye. Do we need any of these? Okay, so Athenian water is our phoenix down. Um, <laughs> as an adult, I'm the person who lets the Dragonborn walk for miles while over encumbered with stuff. Yeah, yep, I feel ya. I've gotten a bit better about it, but yeah. Did we talk to this person? We always thought all the monsters came here from the mainland, but that isn't the case anymore. Now they appear as if from nowhere, and their numbers grow greater by the day. Speaking is hard. Dylan shouldn't do it. Her mother, and her aunt too. I saw them off just like this too. We are powerless to do anything else. Even if it is for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. Oh Jesus. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I was trying to open the chest. Mother and daughter, both setting off a sacrifice. Fate is a strange thing indeed. I must at least make her some of that arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. If the monsters come from the mainland, refuse their ships to dock, problem solved. Yeah, I, I think maybe there are monsters in the forest. Must go for now, but enjoy the game. Alright, Danny. Cheers. Have a good evening. I can't tell anyone where Setsuna went. I promised I'd keep it a secret. I guess I can tell you once she gets back from the Falling Snow Monument, though. <laughs> I didn't tell anyone where she goes. But as soon as she gets back from specific place, I'm sure I can tell people. <laughs> I passed through this village on my travels and took a liking to it. I ended up staying here, but... The villagers still aren't very friendly towards me. I wish there was some way I could win their trust. Alright, I think it's time for us to go to the Falling Stone Monument, which is through the Dadshire Woods to the northeast. I was paying attention. Were you? There's gonna be a test later. Okay, I'm assuming that's the woods. Is this a lake that we can interact with? Is this... is this stuff? No? Okay. Can I run? Is there a run button? Let's save. Let's save way too often instead of not often enough. And saving is super fast, so... Hi, 
やつ終わらせるぞ甘いエオよしHis treasure. Oh, it's locked. Damn. Get him. I have Boom! Get toasted. Wadi. Dana. Through the snow. Oh, that looks big. Let's fuck it up! Yarzo. Ah, I got toasted. Yeah! Sweet. Slippery hide, iron snow sand. Antidote, sweet. Super slap was not effective. Ah, oh, shit. I ran away. Okay. I guess there's only one of them right now, so... Alright, nice. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the, uh, combat system. It's simple, but it's got, like, it's got some fun reaction time stuff in it. Oh! Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but good to know. Dude, our hair is awesome. I mean, I'm a sucker for ponytails, but... Ponytails with an ombre on it. Oh yeah. To the monument! Turn off the camera for this. Well, Mom, I'll be leaving soon. I'm going to give this everything I've got. I hope you can keep watching over me until the end. Uh, who are you? Sacrifice. Yes. And you are? I don't suppose you're going to answer that. I am the sacrifice. I was chosen to give my life in the last lands. Just like the past sacrifices who named whose names were, are engraved upon this monument. That is why I cannot let you take my life now. But even if you did do not kill me, my life will end soon enough. When my journey comes to an end, so too will my life. Oh man! Chat! Ugh. What kind of guy is Endir? Is he a just do the job kind of guy? Or is this is this the point where he breaks? I don't I don't know. 
my heart is breaking. I know, right? Like, just knowing that the premise of this is she'll die at the end is... Ugh. I think I'm going to choose option B. I am... Um... Fuck no, I don't want to change it. I am Setsuna. And you are? Yes! Fuck, I am such a sucker for this. If your title is somewhere in your script, if it's a book, if it's a game, if it's a movie, fucking fuck yeah, I love that. <laughs> I am no longer the title of this game. Exactly, Jess. <laughs> oh, God, I love that. I love that. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming from a mile away. And yet, uh, something about it is just so satisfying to me. Also, hi Jess, welcome. <laughs> Get toasted. Satsuna, are you alright? Thank goodness we made it in time. I'm sure you're very skilled indeed. But have you ever taken on two magic users at, users at once, I wonder? Oh shit, she's awesome! I shall protect Satsuna, even if it costs me my life. Can't stay because of Wonder Knight, but I intend to play it eventually. Alright, Jess. Have a wonderful evening. 